I am ready to fire this thing up. I'm not sure if the switch, I think that's the right way. I just got a meter on the output and an amp meter on the input because if there's a huge draw, there's something wrong. I'm gonna fire this thing up first time. Let's see if I got everything right here. Spin that a little bit. Turn that on, nothing happened, so. All right. We're off and running. Yeah, it's working. So the slave concept's working. That's 50 volts. Hopefully it won't blow up on me here. Looks good. We're drawing 0.13 amps at 55 volts. I only got one little battery on the output, so I really need to ensure what that was on DC. So I was actually wrong. Select DC. Okay, yeah, we're okay. So let's switch this back to AC. There we go. Now it scales right. 2.4 amps accelerating at 60 volts. And I'm going to have to do something about that because that's already 13.4 volts. We're staying about the same 0 0.2, 0 0.3 amps, so, but that is unacceptable. That'll fry that battery. If it gets to 15, we're going to have to shut down, so. But it looks like everything's working, and that's what this first test was anyway. We're, we're running three subsets of coils, which is basically like three Bedini cir uh, circuits, with two slaves in each one of those circuits. So, try to get it up to 120. Yeah, that's, that voltage ain't gonna stand there. We're only at 80 volts. I need to put something to read. I'm gonna have to shut it down because that is not good. Doesn't look like it's a problem though. I need to put something to use my tack on it and I'm gonna have to put a couple more batteries because that got up to 15 volts way too fast but it's working so so take me a bit to edit these videos get everything online everybody in the homebrew energy forum at zero point fuel I'll be posting it in that form first uh, so everybody can see it first and then uh, I'll bring them online on the YouTube when the DVD is ready so it'll probably be a few weeks I have to do that motor and I'm going to try to blaze through that that that's a little easier it's similar to the cart motor each coil is its own circuit so unlike this one which has a control circuit and then two slaves wired in series this each coil is its own circuit so shouldn't be hard to put this together and start testing them and be able to produce a video within the next couple weeks I, I'm hoping if nothing gets in my way and slows me down I should have it done within two to three weeks. So, little update. The motor's done. We'll take it from there. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.